In this video, I'm going to explain labor factoring using Red Rhino Conduit Wizard. On the screen, you'll see I have the Conduit Wizard opened. Now, the thing that I'm going to be talking about eventually here is, or, or let me start out with an explanation of, of factoring. Factoring conduit and wire means that you that you adjust the labor for conduit and wire based on level of difficulty. When you're uh, inputting, or I should say, when you're estimating conduit runs in a hostile environment, maybe in factories or uh, in uh, in uh, applications with a lot of barriers, okay, you might want to add labor or increase labor for conduit and wire. Now, long story short, just down at the bottom of the conduit wizard here, it says labor hours adjustment percent. So you can put a percentage in here for conduit and adjust or, or add that percent of labor to what red is default in Red Rhino now. Same with wire one, wire two, and wire three. Now I'm gonna show you an example of this, but first I'm just pointing out that I have the conduit wizard set up for three inch EMT, okay? And I'm going to do two runs here as a comparison. So so first I'm gonna input this run of conduit and not factor anything. It's just gonna, it's gonna input labor that Red Rhino has in it, okay? Now, in both instances, I have the conduit application set up uh, exposed plus 20, which is the most difficult, if you will, or the most labor um, uh, that Red Rhino Conduit Wizard will throw out there. Okay, so I'm just going to input this, and then I'm going to do another one with conduit factoring here. Here you see I input that run of conduit, 100 feet of 3 inch, um, with 350 MCM and, and uh, number three copper here for ground. Now I'm going to do the same thing using the conduit wizard. This time I'm going to factor it. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so let's ex uh, use an example that I'm estimating conduit in a kind of a hostile environment, and I think it's going to take at least about a third more labor to install the conduit. So I'm going to go into the conduit adjustment here and type in 30. OK, 30 percent, it's going to add labor to what defaults using a conduit wizard. Now, the other thing is, is that if you think it's a, a difficulty pulling wire, um, you can factor wire different also. And just for example, I'm going to do that. I'm going to say in this example that it takes 25 percent more labor. Type that in for all the wires. So I only input two different sizes of wires here, 350 and number three. And so again, the purpose of this is for the program to add additional labor on top of what the default is for how it's set out of the conduit wizard. And I'm going to add that amount. And you'll see it populates to the back page here. Close the wizard, I'm gonna save it, and then we'll compare. Now, in this example, again, I input the same run of conduit twice, but one time I factored the labor additional 30% for the wire, or rather conduit, and 25% for the wire. So let's look. This is the first entry, entry I made not factoring. Notice the labor hours are 12.13 hours per 100 right here for conduit. Let's look at the, its comparison. Down here where I factored labor an additional 30%, it shows, well, keep on, clicking that there, it shows 15.77 hours as opposed to 12 hours, okay? So it factored or it added additional labor. Now let's look at totals for 100 feet. The difference is between the, the um, default is 12 hours and the, uh, the factored labor is 15 hours total for the run. Same thing for each wire. Look at here, the program uh, defaults at 21.86 hours per thousand feet to install this 350, looking at this line here. And on this line as a comparison, instead of 21 hours, it's 27.33 hours. See, we I asked the programmer, had the program factor it by 25%. Okay, that's what I want to show you about Red Rhino. Using the Conduit Wizard, you can factor the labor to add more labor in difficult circumstance. That's it for this video. Uh, oops, I guess I'm not done. I wanted to share one more thing. When I'm estimating conduit on um, trapeze racks where there's just lots of conduits going on the same rack, a lot of times I reduce the labor by about 10%. Now, these are values that are personal preference for me, but you'd have to determine what that is for yourself. Okay, so here you would put maybe a negative, not maybe, you'd put in a negative number. I want to deduct 10%. 
10% for a run of conduit. Now, I already did the entry there. We'll take a look at it, okay? But again, you have to play around with these numbers and adjust them to what you think is real. Sometimes if you're in a really, really hostile environment, say a factory, a working factory with forklifts running all over, or if it's up in the sky, the conduit's 40 feet up in the sky, and there's just tons and tons of obstructions, you might want to add 50% or 100% uh, conduit labor factoring there, okay? So this is, these are things you just have to get a feel for, but the conduit wizard will do that for you. Now to that point, I'm just gonna close this conduit wizard. Here I input uh, a factor of negative 10%, and you'll see compared to the standard or default of the conduit wizard, it it reduced it down to 10.9 hours as opposed to 12.13 hours here, okay? So again, you can use that negative, just put a negative sign or a dash in front of the number uh, percentage um, to, uh, to, oops, the wrong screen there, <laughs> to, uh, to deduct labor, labor factoring, okay? That's it for this video.